three days till Christmas. Mr. S, I have to mail my letter to Santa. I'm asking for an authentic polar bear helmet from the movie Golden Compass. <laughs> You're a golden dumbass. Dad, be nice to Jeff. He's just excited about Christmas. He's a grown man and he still believes in Santa Claus. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> maintain that, that childlike sense of wonder? No, Haley. I'm not getting that moron a damn thing for Christmas. Just because you married him doesn't make him a part of my family. Actually, it does, Dad. And you need to accept that. Haley, the only thing I have to accept is that socially I can't wear mascara, even though it makes my eyes pop like firecrackers. Look, I've got wooden clogs to put around the tree. I'm starting a new Christmas tradition. What was wrong with our old tradition? Like letting homeless people smell our napkins after Christmas dinner. On The View, they said we could try the Dutch custom of putting presents in wooden clogs. Barbara Walters said it, and she had an affair with a married black senator. So, you know, she doesn't drive in the slow lane. Well, I'm not going to be able to fit my present for Steve in a shoe. I'm getting him his first gun this Christmas. It's the perfect way for us to bond. A gun? Can't you bond over something else? I've tried everything else. Darts, a ping pong table, that puppy. <gasps> the puppy! It's probably too late. Well, I'm sorry, but guns are too dangerous for Steve. Promise you won't get him one for Christmas. I promise I won't get Steve a gun for Christmas. Merry Wednesday, son! A machine gun? Oh, seems a bit dangerous for me. But I guess if coked out child soldiers in the Congo can do it. That's the spirit. Hey, Mr. S, I'll go shooting with you guys, too. Jeff, I am trying to have a bonding experience with my son. You are not my son. You are no part of this family. And when I open my eyes, you better be gone, okay? I don't want to see a trace of you. Terrible. Steve, shooting a gun is like being intimate with a woman. First, you inspect it to make sure it's clean. Then you grab it on the butt and jam the magazine in. If it doesn't fit, make it. Oh, looks like your mom was right. This isn't safe. Safety goggles. Ooh, new target. Snowman, get him! Ah! Oh my god, a mole Santa! I, 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 I didn't see him. Is he... Dead? Are you going to ask if he's dead? I was going to ask if he's okay. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. No, he, 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 is, he is dead. He is not okay. He will never be okay because he is, say it with me, dead. He didn't say it with me. Why did you have to give me a gun? I'll never pull another trigger as long as I live. Relax, Steve. Part of gun ownership is killing people by mistake. What the hell do we do now? Well, we're going to keep things pretty simple. Check the guy's fingerprints on my CIA computer, send an anonymous note to his next of kin, and make sure your mother doesn't find out. If she knew I gave you a gun, she'd kill me. Or maybe she'd get you to do it, huh, killer? <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding, but you, you have killed someone. Okay, let's hide this guy in the backyard while I run his prints. Damn it! Just be casual. Follow my lead. Hey, Francine, you look amazing! You look amazing, Francine. You're so attractive. Aww. Strange. Our mall Santa's prints aren't in the CIA's files. Uh-oh. Okay, here's what happened. I killed him! You were right, Mom. I'm too young for a gun. A boy shot a man today. A boy shot a man. Steve killed somebody? H have you called the police? No need to. Me and Steve can handle it. Stan, you've done enough. I will not have this Christmas ruined. And we're just gonna bury that body deep in the woods and never talk about it again. Don't speak of this to anyone. I can't believe we're burying this guy in the woods. I can't believe you guys didn't let me smash his teeth out and cut off his hands. What? You want to get away with this or not? What the hell?
Please tell me I'm not the only one who got a crazy letter. I got one too. Did someone blab about what happened in the woods? No! Huh? <laughs> Breaking news. It's the day before Christmas, and many people are saying it doesn't feel like Christmas at all. Let's go to Terry Bates. Sir, if I asked what month it felt like to you, what would you say? If I had to guess, I'd say mid-October. And what is your profession? I make calendars with cats on them for, for lesbians. Oh, lesbians are so hard to buy for. Well, there you have it, Greg. There's no feeling of holiday spirit out here at all. It's almost as if someone has killed Santa Claus. Oh, my God. Did I? Of course not. There's no such thing as Santa Claus, Steve. <laughs> oh, my God. The body's gone! The Smiths have been naughty, and that makes Santa not nice. Oh no, it's true! I killed Santa! Santa's not dead, you fool! He's in the North Pole, recovering! Doesn't it be bad to kill you all before the sun rises on Christmas Day? Okay, look, maybe that wasn't a real elf. Maybe it's just some midge playing a trick. We all know how mischievous little people are. Most of them don't have jobs, which gives them plenty of time to think of schemes. I don't think that was a little person, Stan. Look at this! Oh, my God. I can't believe I shot the real Santa. I can't believe there is a real Santa. So that year I got a vibrator from Santa? That was really from Santa? Dad, we have to get Jeff. He's at the house. He could be in danger. That's the first place Santa will look for us. Forget about Jeff. It's just the four of us now. Make that five, num nuts. Roger? Santa's after you, huh? Y'all best follow me then. I got a spot where no one's gonna find you. Won't hear when I make you squeal like a pig, neither. What? Nothing's deliverance joke. Oh, poor Ned Beatty. He can, he can play Rudy's dad all he wants, but when we look at him, all we see is him getting rammed in the woods.